voice thing you want to do? This is the voice. You want to wipe off the top. You never want a dirty top. <laughs> you don't. It's just nasty. Take this here out. And pop this in the top. Put it back on. Bam. Filt. Good filt. Good fish. And wipe this top off. Oh, I wasn't getting that. Okay. Wipe that top off. Get a new knee out. You open it like this. Like this, like that. You see it's prickly. Yeah, it's pretty small. Uh, so that just punctures the cartridge. Yep, punctures the cartridge and you spin it on. So you should never touch it. Take it off. There's another safety precaution on there. And this is when we get Ebony. Ebony spot of puncture wipe down. Which way you want it? Let's do it right. You say you did this one last time. It's, it's not about that, though. I see the two on your left. I see one on your right. So you were wrong. No, no. I'm not wrong. We did this four Be times. Careful. This is kind of sensitive. Like, uh, oh, God. <laughs> you've been breaking it since Friday. That's what she said. Oh, my gosh. She does <laughs> Girl, the top's on. <laughs> I thought you were trying to stick <laughs> no. Anyway. And then we have to say the unit you know, of measurement. Okay. All right, so it's a 250. I don't know if it showed up. Yeah, it did. All right, have any hey, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. Wait, baby, you have to do straight in. It said at a. I don't want it at an angle because you looked it last time. <laughs> Only I wasn't because it was at an angle. It's because I lifted. It can wasn't. You, can you I'm going to go straight in, but I'm letting you know that's not why I did that. Okay. You can see there's a little bit at the top. Be careful. Girl, I can see where I'm at. Well, you can't, the camera can't see that. It's too thin. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. That was way better. Oh. All right. Then you have to recap. Mm -hmm. Take it off. Mm -mm. I have to twist it. Oh, okay. It's like seven or nine, depending on how they grow. So the dark spots are the egg. The follicles. The follicles, yep. yeah. Okay, y'all, so this is the ice pack. Gotta get ready for this evil syringe. That's so dull. Oh, here it is over here. We tried twice earlier and it didn't work. Nice in my belly to hopefully, yeah, it's better. My hand is too cold to hold it. It's so small and the needle's really short. It's just dull. I don't know. Yeah, we tried twice. And you could like see the indent in our skin where we were pushing, but it just wouldn't go through. Yeah, Hopefully so. this will help. I'm nervous.
Okay, yeah, 75 units. If you have been instructed to take more than 75 units of medication, repeat this process using the mixture in the syringe to reconstitute additional vials of Menipure. Go up a little higher. It's supposed to be next to your belly button. Well, all these spots are getting poked. Yeah, me too. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Ow, ow, ouch. Oh, you okay? Did the, the actual stuff yeah, hurt? Yeah, it's going in. The, 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 the contents, right? Not yeah. the needle going in. Yeah. That's so much. Yeah, it did take a while. Oh, What's why? Right um, right here? No, I gotta go see this. Hey y'all, so today is Sunday, July 11th. It is 7.43. I just got out of my appointment. <laughs> Obviously, they are open on the weekends because you can all be late anytime. So someone's gotta be here to catch those eggs. This was just another checkup like I've been having every few days. They wanna make sure that my blood work looks good. They wanna make sure my eggs are growing at the rate and speed and size or whatever that they should be growing at. And everything's looking good so far. This was a really fast, um, appointment but it was painful like my ovaries I, I really wish I knew how big they were I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them next time because when she put that probe inside the transvaginal probe normally that feels like nothing you know but today it was like oh I felt every movement she made because it's just I'm so bloated down here it's so sore everything is just like please leave me alone um but anyways yeah Everything, though, from what I could tell and what she said, too, like, it looks good. She said I only have maybe one or two more days left of shots, which is really exciting because I'm just ready to be done with these things. And another thing she told me, too, which I'm happy about, is that I can bring my excess medicine here to donate. And I thought that I wouldn't be able to because, you know, I've been reading online, like, you can't give it away. You can't sell it. You can't whatever, whatever. Um, because it's not coming at this point, it's coming from me and not a pharmacy or something, but they're like, no, you can bring it here and donate it. We really welcome that. So I'm really glad about that because I bought more shots, more than what I needed. I don't know why I bought so many, but I think I was confused and didn't realize I was confused until the wee hours of this morning. <laughs> and, um, so now I get to, you know, help somebody out help someone out who might need it because i'm like why would i buy this many this doesn't make any sense but obviously god is like because girl i need you to be able to help someone else so that's what i'm gonna do because i have not only those shots left that i'm gonna have excess of because i have not only those excess shots left i have some other medicine too that they prescribed me to get i didn't overbuy, but you know i think they over prescribed so it is what it is um like I said, I'll just be happy to be helping someone else. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. I mean, my egg retrieval should be happening in the next couple of days. And this is exciting because we finally get to move on to the next point. I mean, this was this whole thing was exciting too. Like, you know, to finally get it started. But now, like, I feel like the worst part is over <laughs> this week of shots and now it's gonna be an egg retrieval which is easy it's no recuperation time really and after that embryo transfer or the pilot removal for my uterus whatever whatever and then the embryo transfer so i'm excited about that i'm gonna go home and go to sleep and because <laughs> i didn't get any sleep last night like i was up to one o'clock on the phone talking to my friend and i woke up at like four o'clock this morning thinking about that medicine that I bought that I didn't need like it's weird your mom will just wake you up with randomness it's whatever anyways y'all <laughs> but yeah let me get out of here with this parking lot I will talk to y'all later